let's look at projective transformation. In a projective transformation, what we're interested in is taking an image and warping it in this manner. So basically, a projective transformation is a combination of an affine transformation we looked at, but added to that a projective warp. Properties of that uh, form of transformation is that origin does not again necessarily map to the origin. We can see that this could have transformed or uh, moved translated over to this point. But the line are still straight lines, right? Lines map to straight lines here. But now parallel lines do not necessarily remain parallel. An example of this you may actually see that, for example, if T and H, if they were parallel here, they're no longer parallel. If I was to draw an H here and T here, uh, let's just do that, and uh, they would actually intersect somewhere, while T and H unlikely to intersect. And of course, ratios are not preserved in this one either. Here, of course, we have, what do you think, nine parameters? Nah, remember, I always said, this will convert back to one. So in essence, we have eight parameters, which basically means we have eight degree of freedom.